Well, cleanup is currently underway after an EF2 tornado touched down in Hot Springs during the overnight hours, knocking out power and throwing trees onto houses and vehicles. And our Camdens were not the only ones dealing with a scary situation last night. It was also a terrifying night for thousands of people in the path of powerful twisters across the Midwest. Tornadoes were spotted in Michigan, Indiana and Ohio with extensive damage reported. Dave Malkoff has more. Crews are searching demolished buildings in Portage, Michigan to make sure no one is trapped in the rubble after two confirmed tornadoes inflicted extensive damage in the small town Tuesday night. Your house being there one second and the next thing you know, it's just you can't live there anymore. Isaiah Erickson lost all his possessions, but the area had no reports of deaths or serious injuries. Across the Midwest, twisters hit a number of communities overnight, including Milroy, Indiana and Salina, Ohio. In Barnstall, Oklahoma, an EF4 tornado took out neighborhoods up to 70 homes on Monday night. It's going to take a while to clean all this up because we are still surrounded by debris everywhere. Things like this wooden beam right here that were swirling around in the winds 170 miles an hour. It feels devastating to look at this when you've worked your whole life. Jimmy Blake rode out the storm in a shelter with her grandson and other family members. I prayed in the car three times. It, it was overwhelming. Despite the damage, she is grateful. To know that I'm safe, my husband's safe, my mother's safe, and my eight-year-old grandson's safe, and so are all of my animals, I'm very thankful for that. Forecasters say the storm threat moves mid-south today where tornadoes, damaging wind, and flooding are all possible. Dave Malkoff, CBS News, Barnstall, Oklahoma.